I was very fortunate. I, in, in 1948, uh, I had completed my examinations and I had a further year to do at King's College and I was given the option of doing a year's research under Maurice Wilkins who uh, was working on the, uh, the ultraviolet spectroscopy and ultraviolet microscopy of living cells. Uh, and this was the subject that I was given. I was, I was asked to develop reflecting microscopes uh, so that uh, we could use them at higher magnification and higher resolution to study the role of DNA in living cells. This work progressed uh, through the years and eventually led to uh, Morris getting involved in the use of uh, x-rays for examining uh, nucleic acid which uh, he, he had extracted from cells and of which he had some highly purified specimens. With the aid of polarising microscopes, he d developed techniques for drawing this into very fine fibres of nucleic acid, which in fact crystallised quite well. And with the help of Raymond Gosling, who was his assistant at that time, they had taken X-ray pictures of nucleic acid using a, an old machine in the chemistry department. And by the end of 1951, uh, they had developed quite good pictures of the structure of uh, nucleic acid. And it was about that time that Rosalind Franklin came to King's.